So I watched Black Panther and it was great. The latest MCU film comes from director Ryan Coogler who has now hit free for free in terms of great films in my opinion. Black Panther follows the new king of Wakanda, a secretive but advanced African nation that is dealing with its own internal problems while also kind of dipping its toe in dealing with the problems of the rest of the world. It was a lot of fun but in a different way than recent Marvel films like Spider-Man 4 or Guardians. Those are almost comedies first. This has jokes but it's not the driving force. This can make the character of T'Challa not instantly lovable like a Star-Lord or Peter Parker but you kind of up falling for him because he's just a good guy I appreciate that and against him you've got a great bad guy in Michael B Jordan who's basically just the opposite of T'Challa the devil on your shoulder versus the angel they kind of just have different views of the world but it isn't always or at least he isn't always super, like super just straight up evil until it seems like the film worries at a certain point that you might like Michael B Jordan more than you like T'Challa and they just kind of make him do bad stuff for the sake of it I didn't really like that but still he's better than most villains and they're normally the weakest parts of these sort of films. I love the way the film gets political at times while at other times having scenes that just straight up feel like out of James Bond. There's a great selection of characters in particular the sister who you may recognize from the last episode of Black Mirror. It took me like half the film to figure out where I recognized her from. She is great and she's kind of like the Q in this film. She's not just the comedic character but she also you know provides a lot in the story she's like the gadget person who hooks up Black Panther with all his amazing gadgets uh, the music is also great not just like the soundtrack but the score more than anything it's just really cool it's got these little like African inspired drum beats it's different and that's what I really enjoyed about this it felt a lot different than a lot of the other Marvel films uh, at times I do think it would have been nice to see what would happen if if they could loosen the leash a little bit more on the creatives behind these films because I still feel like there's a few things uh, in particular some of the action scenes some of the action scenes are really great and it feels like there's a lot of consequence to them especially for the story but at times especially some of the earlier action scenes they just feel like they're in there because that's the point in a Marvel film where an action scene would go so they have to put one in there it just it still feels like it's kind of got its tight Marvel structure I'd really be interested in one day if they could just completely like lose the structure still it was great. It's a great superhero film and I really enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and subscribe for more, but don't leave yet. Oh, I'm giving it four stars, by the way. Um should have said that yeah I've done a very quick review for this film because I've been planning to do a review for like a week I saw it 10 days ago now and I just haven't got around to reviewing it yet so I thought I just need to get out of there I need to get my thoughts out there I need to get my opinions out of my head and into a video so I've done a la lazy video today I might have to do a few more of these in the future just because I haven't been having enough time to review films I started this channel so when I would watch films I could get something productive out of it and I've been watching the films but then I've not actually had a chance to review them some of the times I've wrote the reviews and hadn't had a chance to record some of the times I've recorded and had time to edit and then a couple weeks has gone by and I just haven't got around to finishing the video or putting it out so films like the last insidious film uh, Cloverfield Paradox there was another Netflix original that I watched that I was going to review but I just never got around to it so hopefully I won't have to do too many but I'll do a couple more videos like this maybe in the future just to get some opinions out there quickly about films you know I still need to see the, see the new Fifty Shades of Grey film so you know that's that's high up on my list I am also planning on doing an Oscar review week like I did last year so uh, the week leading up to the Oscars I'm going to try and review every film that's nominated for Best Picture there's still a few I need to watch so hopefully I'll have time to do that before Oscars which is like two weeks away so we'll see how that goes uh, yeah but uh, thank you for watching uh, let me know if you're okay with these kind of videos and uh, subscribe for more thank you bye bye